what types of applications would you build in Rust versus Go? And so I think one of the things that the Go community gets to kind of pound their chest on a little bit are some big projects like Docker, Kubernetes, um, are the two big ones that come to mind. Uh, a bunch of databases that are out there, the TensorFlow stuff. I mean, like over the last 10 years, I think some of the most important tech has been written in Go. And I think we all can appreciate that these projects have been highly successful using Go. So I'm curious, before we go any deeper into that question, what are the, what are the projects that the Rust community kind of get to pound their chest about? Like these are our projects that are showing that Rust is a viable candidate to build software in. Well, let's see, on the lowest level, uh, Microsoft just announced that they've replaced large parts of Windows with Rust and are continuing to do so, and declared that um, they're on the um, <clears throat> kernel to user space boundary, they are seeing approximately 80 to 90% fewer in the way of uh, memory related bugs, which is a huge improvement. Um, then uh, Google have been using Rust heavily for their new operating system development, um, and also uh, like the Android Bluetooth stack is now written in Rust. Um, Linux itself, uh, there's only two languages in the kernel, and Rust is one of them. Until last year, it was just C. And that has actually been bearing all kinds of fruit, because the Rust uh, safety checkers have found bugs in some of the other parts of the Linux kernel. Uh, the Rust community really pulled together to make a lot of changes needed to work well in the Linux kernel space, and Microsoft would be making some changes to make it work well with the Windows kernel space. Um, Apple's kind of the odd one out in that they haven't announced that they're doing anything with it. So on the on the very lowest level, you've got that. Uh, go, working your way up, and, you know, Influx just uh, moved to Rust for Influx DB3. Uh, that was um, quite a spectacular announcement because they didn't really uh, tell us that they were going to do it. Um, there is where you tend, um, you know, Amazon um, love love talking about Rust. Uh, the back end of web of AWS is almost entirely Rust. The front end uses a mixture of Go and um, apparently a, some really interesting scripts, from what Tim McMar Tim McMurro was saying. But they they switched to Rust for that because uh, um, it's extremely predictable on latency. Um, so if you need to get your AWS server, which is probably running a Go program up and running quick, then Rust is great for orchestrating that place where you need the performance in a hurry. And so the other thing I keep seeing is that Rust is um, really great to integrate for part of a project, 